This is a really important event. It is. For people who don't understand what the Conservative Democratic Organisation is, how would you describe it? Well, what we are is uh, an organisation that specifically set itself up because they feel disenfranchised from the leadership. The members voted for two prime ministers and both prime ministers were removed not by the members but by the Conservative Parliamentary Party and they've had enough. But the huge issue here is that we have a Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, who has never been endorsed by the members of the party that he leads. That's right. Even worse, they voted against him. Yeah. And, um, in large and numbers. In large numbers. It cannot be right for a sitting Prime Minister with a massive majority to be removed by a small group of MPs. It wasn't just Tory MPs, it was also uh, the political establishment, the, the blob, uh, the snivel service, as I call them, conspiring with the media to make it impossible for a democratically elected prime minister to do his job. What you're seeing is the Conservative Party changing from a centre-right party into a centre-left party. Really? I think the party's been hijacked by left-leaning, europhile uh, people. So you want to save... The Conservative Party? Well, yes. I want, I want the Conservative Party to revert back into a centre-right party of low taxes, borders, I mean, we can talk about it all day, uh, less government interference. I don't think you're seeing that now. I mean, and don't forget our 2019 manifesto um, said that we would leave the European Union, we would repeal European laws, and now that looks like that's being reversed. So there's a lot of stuff going on in the Conservative Party that is anti-democratic. So do you worry that if your movement isn't successful, we end up effectively being a one-party state? If we don't change now as a party, what you'll end up with is two left-leaning parties. You'll have Labour that is probably extreme left, and the Conservative, which as is... Centre -left. Centre left. You have pumped in a lot of your own personal fortune into the party. Are you considering withdrawing that financial support? I have stopped donating to the Conservative Party because I'm so disgusted with not only the removal of a sitting Prime Minister but the reversal of the 2019 manifesto. I would love to be able to, con to donate to the Conservative Party tomorrow providing it reverts back to centre-right policies and supports members. And the way to do that is very simple. Rishi Sunak can call me up today and say to me, Peter, we've seen the CDO, what they're proposing, the constitutional changes. Come in and make those changes to the party. Let's give more democracy back to the members. And, and if he did that tomorrow, you would be back in? If he did that tomorrow, I'd donate a million pounds. Wow. His members are angry. They're not angry so much that Boris, as a personality, was removed. They're, they're angry because people did that yeah. without their say-so. They do want him back, though, don't they? Well, why not? If, they, if that's what they want. See, I speak to lots of allies yeah. uh, close to Boris Johnson. They all tell me that he's ready to serve again and that he would be prepared to come back and lead the Conservative yes. Party again. Is that the sense that you get? Well, um, so first of all, I've not had that conversation with Boris or any of his advisers. What I, the only advice I gave to Boris, not directly to a couple of his advisers, is that if he does come back, if he wants to come back, it cannot be on the same terms as before. He cannot have people stabbing him in the back, which is what happened to him. You know, this, is a demo this was a democratically elected prime minister of our country. If you respect democracy, then you should say, you know, come back and finish the job. If you've got a plot, I mean, we had, there was secret meetings, there was collusions, there was orchestrated resignations. People were chattering to each other about uh, what to do next and how to remove our Prime Minister. That was not just against Boris, but also against the electorate. And it's unacceptable. CDO wants to stop that sort of nonsense in the future, 
changed the constitution so no sitting prime minister can ever be removed by a small group of people with vested interests. Could Boris Johnson win the next general election for the Conservative Party? Well, I party? think he's got a better chance than anybody else in our party because um, he knows how to engage. I mean, if you look at his track record uh, as a campaigner, he's a brilliant campaigner. He could turn things around, I'm sure. But whoever fights the next election, they need one thing. They need the support of the members. So you don't think Rishi Sunak can win the next general election? Not without the members. You saw what happened in the council elections. A lot of, a lot of uh, party members, they're still so angry. They stayed home. They stayed home. They didn't go out and campaign in force. And you, we already came. I mean, we already lost, I think, 1,300 seats under Theresa May. Uh, we lost another 1,000. We're already at a low point. You would think that we could have some successes. Now, if Rishi wants to win the next election, he has to come out now and say, look, what happened to Boris was wrong, and we need to make sure this doesn't happen again. This is about the long-term good of the Conservative Party. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll fight the next election with a change in the Constitution, get the members behind me, and have a really good run at it.